welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. It's been nearly two months since we last put a video out, and while there's been a lot of things going on, we wanted to make sure that we had some good content for you on this next one. So let's not waste any more time into this. This is episode 17. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now for this first device, I'm really excited to bring this one to you guys. Our buddies over at ZoomHash supplied us with it, and we wanted to take a real good deep dive on what this device is and how this one really stacks up against the market that's out there for it. Let's first look at a deep dive on this unit. Now there's some pretty key features on this Bitcoin miner. Now let's dial in on a couple of those numbers. This device out of the box claims and does 1.1 terahash per second. Now they call that nominal performance at an estimated 1700 watts from the wall. But as we can see here, really dialed up, performing just over 1.1 terahashes. This thing's at right around 1900 from the wall to the point that it actually started blinking out the kilowatt. Now from the factory, it comes with a 220 power cord. And while we have an extra 220 spot there, the actual plug itself was a little different. We would have had to get a different connection point to plug that 220 in. So we split it off to two 110 connections from a power strip and move that into a 30 amp connection that we have down here. Now a standard house outlet is not recommended even close to 1900 watts to the wall. It's around 1640 at max and even that's really pushing it. So you're going to want to split that between two house outlets if you're buying this for somewhere at your house, 15 to 20 amp connections. And or if you're buying this for your farm, make sure that you have the proper 220 connection. Now this unit performed exactly the way it said on the box it performed at 1.1 terahash plus and also has an eco mode as i would like to call it that's right over 800 giga hash a second at around 1100 to 1000 watts other hardware features are a 10 100 ethernet connection eight hash boards each with eight fb 1600 40 nanometer a6 a raspberry pi revision 2 two 1200 watt redundant power supplies and best of all out of the box plug it in, connect to an IP address that it grabs, put your Bitcoin mining details in and go. Literally, right out of the box, no coding, nothing. The damn thing worked flawlessly. The embedded OS solution that it ships with is phenomenal. It came right up, no issues, grab that IP, has a nice little LCD display that actually cycles through serial number, accepted shares, any hardware issues or hardware errors, displays on it, along with its IP that it grabs from your network, making it very simple for even a very novice user to use. The core OS is based on a customized Arch Linux. Mix that with a little bit of CG Miner and Fusion Miner, and it's an overall great solution. The total weight of the units, roughly 33 pounds, and as you can see from this shot, versus a six card mining rig that we've had on many of our shows, you can see the scale, and it's scaled down. In addition, we wanted to see how loud this thing is against the decibel meter. Now, most of these Bitcoin machines, and for that matter, like a 290X rig, is very loud, something that you're not really gonna wanna have in your room. This thing, surprisingly, is very quiet. Why it does spin up to around 70, 72 decimals when it first turns on is it cycles down and gets into a proper sound threshold that I believe that you could have this in your spare office, 
something that's not gonna sound like you have a server room next to you. It gets down around 64 decimals and is actually not too bad. So let's take a quick minute to jump into the software side of this device and take a look at some of these options. You're first presented with a login screen. Once you go to that IP, you type in the default login. You can obviously change that for your network protection. Then once you're inside the device, you're set up with a status page, security, and some of the other basics, along with a dashboard, a discovery of other devices, and a batch change option. Now, once you're in the device, looking from the top, you have a settings, a dashboard, discovery, and batch change. Settings obviously give you that normal uptime, your serial number, you can nickname it if you have a whole bunch of them. Average speed, current speed, board temps, and chip temps. In addition to that, the security areas where you're gonna change that default password, and then you got your mining settings. Now the mining settings, very unique on this one to the fact that you can change some of the voltages, and if we look in here, the range of voltages that you can change it to, then you got a set of frequencies that you can change the actual core clocks on those chips. Now, we've tested a few different configurations out here, and I'll throw up a table at the end of this to kind of show our effective rates that we got from the different voltage and frequency changes. In addition to that, that's where you're gonna put your main pool you URL along with your username and password to that pool. And of course for pool redundancy there's multiple pool entries in there just in case if one goes down and it can fell over to the other pool. Now we jump over to the dashboard and obviously you'll get your status, your pool information, and then your detail on the actual chip temperatures. Now the temperature monitoring on this is actually pretty nice. It actually has both of the main boards in there. Each of the chips have a display of their actual temperature. In addition to that, you have your accepts and your hardware errors by chip listed on that page. On the discovery, it's essentially a network neighborhood for other mining devices. This software will actually display those on there. That way you can see a total pool farm related information. And then of course the batch changes area is essentially an extension of the settings area, but to set settings and batch change your entire farm at the same time. So some pretty nice software management options. Overall construction design, you can tell that a lot of thought went into this device. And this being the very first big Bitcoin miner that we've actually reviewed on our show. It gives us a good benchmark for the other devices that we have coming inbound. We want to send a very big thank you out to zoomhash.com. In addition to that, save yourself a little bit of money and use coupon code BBT at a checkout with these guys. If you're interested and you're in the market for one of these devices or any of the devices out there, make sure you use that coupon code. They have a lot of different options out there for both SHA-256, Bitcoin miners, and or script mining. And as we all know, time is money when it comes to Bitcoin. Now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and move on to what's next. Now next week, the BBT team will be up in Chicago for the Bitcoin Chicago Conference. Now this great conference is literally almost in our backyard, so absolutely we cannot miss this. We're taking most of the team up there and we're gonna have a great video for the entire experience up there. Now this is our first conference we've went to, so hopefully we can provide a great experience video that's a little different and something that you guys haven't seen before putting a lot of the BBPT production towards it and seeing what we can come up with. Coming out of that, we're gonna have a detailed preview of the new PIMP release software version 1.5.5. There are a ton of new features. They're supporting a lot of ASICs also for you can combine both your GPU farms along with your ASIC farms all in one big pool management system. In that build, we'll put together an X11 low power on the emphasis build using AMD graphics cards from 290Xs through 270s. Along in that episode, we'll also have a few new devices, Bitcoin, and script mining a6 to preview on those bottom line we're bringing some of the best hardware as quick as we can and previewing and showing you what's out there what works what doesn't and give you some great content again like share subscribe spread the word show it to your friends provide us some critical feedback below what you want to see bbt is here for you let's all get into this stay tuned